Barcelona. I'm Francesco Androli. I'm part of like the developer relation and community team at Consensus. So uh, all this umbrella of products like uh, MetaMask, Linea, uh, Infura, there are a bunch of those. Yes. Awesome. So you said we are at Barcelona. How are you feeling? Look, I'm super excited. Like uh, not just the city Barcelona is beautiful, but this is our second year in it Barcelona and it's getting bigger. A lot of vibrant developers. Everybody really is, is want to build. And I'm really excited the fact that this year we have also a dedicated hackathon weekend. And I'm really looking forward on all the submissions and all the developer uh, around the world coming to this beautiful city and hack. Awesome. So you know that last year the topic of the conference was solar punk. This year mm -hmm. Lunar Park is as well uh, included. Mm -hmm. So um, there is a bigger focus on privacy, uh, the challenges that we have faced in the industry over the past year. What do you think about it? What have been your reflections over the past year? Yeah, I think the space, uh, as, as we all know, like is evolving extremely fast and uh, we are all about uh, permissionless innovation. And uh, when we look in verticals, uh, something like you know privacy, scaling infrastructure, new layer two deployments. I think it's all about like scalability, privacy, and resilience of how, where where you build, and all about developer toolings and interoperability. That's why like you know where as as mentioned like we are we are we're speaking about like look at for example like MetaMask Naps. So we want to enable all this ecosystem to to basically be grown by those developers in our community, and that's how we are enabling all the community building snaps uh, through through our uh, through our uh, ecosystem. Just just to keeping an eye out there, we we spoke about snaps also last year, but snaps are ways that you can actually extend the functionality of what does MetaMask today. So think about privacy, as you mentioned, like. Those are big, big issues, social credential, non-EVM compatible snaps. So it's all about interoperability. But the, the great way that we want to enable that is through uh, community-driven initiatives. And, uh, and uh, that's probably like the biggest, uh, uh, the biggest way that we are pioneering the, the space on, on that side. So mm -hmm. permissionless innovation that is key. Is that something that like, is going to be your main focus for over the next year? Yeah, I think uh, there are very exciting things happening, right? So around like uh, uh, six, six months ago, we launched like uh, Linea on Testnet. So all this phase where developer can deploy on a ZK EVM uh, uh, Linea, that's super exciting. We were actually quite active in the ecosystem. We have MetaMask Snaps, as mentioned before. And, uh, and, uh, and then obviously we have uh, um, SDK. So for all game developer at it Barcelona, I definitely encourage you to check out how to integrate fully your, your games natively with, uh, within MetaMask. And, uh, and yeah, so this is like the full focus. And while we're focused on like shipping good developer tooling, we are also driving a lot of like ecosystem initiatives. We recently launched the old ambassador program umbrella. We are further developing all the MetaMask grants DAO. So, it Barcelona is just the start. You can hack, you win, or you can be part of this ecosystem. But then from Monday on, you have part of like, you can submit proposal to the MetaMask Grants DAO. You can basically be part of like all our full community within the ambassador program. And obviously you can join us for a bunch of like, you know, developer community calls where we are quite everywhere within like the ecosystem events. Mm -hmm. Obviously we are in a bear market, but I think we are really in a bull market of developers today. There is a developer that really wants to kind of learn more about MetaMask. How, they, how can they get started? Yeah, for sure. So depending on, on the product they're interested, but I think like when you are like starting, let's say as a developer in your journey, even here in at Barcelona, is like you wanna you wanna check out, you know, probably documentation of Linea, you wanna go to check out what are snaps, how are this documentation of SDK. But obviously, like we have a lot of like tutorials. You I mean if I land users for the people here, check out also like MetaMask Learn. Those are a really good way to to get and know how like specific resources. But uh, I would say like, and then reach out. We are on the ground. Uh, part of the team is here, but also like we are also like online. Like check out our Discord, uh, Discord, uh, consist Discord. We are twenty four seven, and uh, yeah, just uh, just uh, shoot like DMs and uh, and ask questions and be part of this great ecosystem because I think is is Barcelona has a very vibrant developer scene and is just developing with with those years. What excites you the most about the two upcoming days at E Barcelona and then? What excites you the most about the future of Web3? 
Look, I think like Give Barcelona is bringing a lot of interesting use case. I was speaking between yesterday and today with different developers. They want to hack on account abstraction use case. You mentioned privacy. I heard also a lot of like social credential use case. I'm super excited about this. And also I'm excited the fact that those developers can enable like so through something like MetaMask Naps, but also they can deploy directly on, uh, on, on Lina, for example. But what's exciting me on general Web3 is that even if this bear market is longer and we are in a full developer bull market, we are able really to, uh, the ecosystem is growing. Like we are able to, I mean, developers are sustaining by themselves through all these grants and like even like through, through specific like uh, initiatives. And I think this is exciting me. Like we had a lot of application an example like for, for our ambassador program. And uh, I'm just like, super excited what the community is all about. And uh, permissionless innovation is, is one of the big core um, philosophy that we are standing for. And I think this is something that is extremely valuable. So I think just we are just into the start of what our Web3 journey is. Awesome. Thank you so much for the insight. Thank you so much. And uh, see you next year at Barcelona. <laughs>